Hello, my name is Jeff Matthews, co-inventor of the Allset Master Stone Setting Kit. Now let's set up the Easy Cut Prong Guide. As you see here, it's the larger, largest guide in the kit. And we, I've taken the parts out. Let's go ahead and set those up. Um, as you see, there is uh, two, two uh, washers there. One's actually a Belleville washer, and you have a nut. Let's go ahead and screw that on loosely at this point and do the other over here. And I'll, I'll explain why you have that kind of special Belleville nut, uh, or should I say washer. Now let me go ahead and put this in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosely uh, put this together here. Now this piece right here is actually a stop and it's not required to use it, but I'm going to show you how to, to gain from using it. And then you can go in and tighten it up. And, and, and likewise over here. And that's the reason for that. But let's go ahead and set it up just like we did the other. Now again, we have an L bracket. As we mentioned before, the master kit comes with two of these. And the reason why it's important, that way you have the most commonly used tools set up, so that way you can use them very quickly. Example, this is the one we set up earlier. We can slide it in, uh, make our adjustments for height, tighten the brass knob, and as long as that's the depth we wanted, we can go in and make our cuts. Now let's go ahead and set this uh, easy cut prong guide up. Okay. Now, again, if you when you purchase additional ones of these, it does come with an additional nut. That way you can use it with any of these. So let's go ahead and put the uh, Easy Cut Prong Guide on top of there. Put the nut on there in the very back. Again, we're going to do this loosely so you still have the ability to move it around. Okay, slide it over the shaft of the body. Burr in the middle like that. Now at this point, it doesn't really matter how you orientate that. This piece right here is actually, this one right here that looks real sharp, that one's actually a fence guide. And I'll explain that in the next video. But this fence guide, and then this right here is a stop guide. I usually prefer it at the top of the handpiece. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up where it's at the top of the handpiece. And of course, I'm hand tightening it at this point. Now, as we learned before, we want to tighten the, the, the uh, brass screw here because it elevates it a little bit. Make our adjust, make sure it's still on track, it is. Now we take our pliers and just like before, simply give it a slight nudge right there. Okay. Now we've done the basic setup of the all set easy cut prong guide. Now with a V-prong, you'll notice it's quite a bit different than the other prongs. Usually you'll have maybe five prongs, a smaller prong right up next to the V. Well, the, the all-set tool actually does cut within those ranges, so you'll find that beneficial. But for ease today, what I did is I took a, a setting here and I sandblasted it, just so that you can see the cuts we're doing, so it'd be easier to see on the camera here. Well, let's go ahead and start with a setting on this right here. Now to start out with this, we have a, a stone here that I noticed that would fit in there, but it needs a lot of machining, okay? This particular stone has a deep pavilion side to it, so I did some pre-machining before the video, and I wanted to show you the bird that I actually used. This is a pretty neat thing to know. These are uh, diamond burrs. Some of these diamond burrs are really great. You do need to keep them away from stones when you're working with it, but they can actually create a very smooth cutting surface and the, the benefit to it is, is they don't grab and twist around and damage the other parts of the piece. And this is the one I use to take out this interior for this stone right here. And we're also in this, uh, we're going to show you what seat check does. This right here will save you a fortune because it allows you the ability not to break pointed stones or sharp edge stones. And you'll really like seeing how we use this, this uh, sheet, uh, seat check spray. It's very simple. Now let's go ahead and take the all set and start cutting this. And we'll go, we're going to do the two back prongs and then we'll go to the, the V front. Let's go ahead and start that.
Now as you notice here, I'm going to go ahead and cut the back prong and you see our little line there, uh, scribed line? That no longer is useful because we're going to want to cut on the exact part of the inside of where the stone is going to meet, right in that edge there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and line that up. And you know, it's always a good idea to use some uh, burr life. That stuff is really nice because it'll, it actually will save you money because your burrs, not only do they cut better, but you're going to find that those burrs will last a lot longer and you'll find good benefits. So let's go ahead and make our cut. Notice as I'm doing my cut right there, let me move it around so you can see the actual cutting there. Can you see that? You see how now I can control, it's not wrapping around the prong, it's very simple. Now what I want to do is I want to look at it and see if I'm cutting in the exact area that I wanted to cut. And that looks pretty good. But you know, I think we need to go a little deeper. So I'm going to set it back up, rotate it around, and I'm going to go ahead and make some more cut. Now let's go ahead and rotate this around and do the other side. Again, you want to make sure we keep looking at it make sure we're cutting on the exact part of the prong we want to cut so far it looks pretty good okay there we go that's looking good now before we started this we want to do something that's crucial and that is we wanted to make sure that all these prongs were at the same distance in other words we in order for the stone to be level later we want to make sure that these are all the same height and so we've done that prior to the setting now let's go ahead and show how we can accomplish the V the V what we're going to do is we're going to go in just like we did on the rear and we're just going to start the cut and then we're going to go in by hand and do all the custom cutting okay now let's look at it that looks pretty good let's go a little deeper though I think that that would help if we do Okay, now what we have is we have our basic cuts, all uniform, all perfect height, using the all set easy cut prong guide. You notice we didn't use the back guide here because we didn't need it, because now we're doing something more custom, uh, something uh, that has different distances between the prongs. But let's go ahead and show you a few tricks I think you'll find beneficial. Whenever you have a a stone such as this where you have a point to it it could be princess cuts or whatever that is the point being the vulnerable edge of breakage so what we want to do is we want to cut enough metal away so that the pressure points are exactly where they should be to avoid breaking that stone so let's go ahead and start doing our cutting with that what I want to do is I'm gonna go in with a different cutter actually do some cutting there Let's go on the other side here. Remember to use your burlap. That really makes it smooth. Actually, by using that burlap, the burrs tend not to grab so much. Okay. Now here's where the trick comes in, and I think this is you'll find very useful. What we're going to do is I'm going to take the sheet, the seat check spray, give it a little shake here. Let me spray it out of the camera's view here. Okay, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to check and see where the, what's the pressure points on this stone as you see it going in there. You can rotate it, move it around. Now, you can do that on all the prongs, which is what I'd prefer doing, but right now I'm focusing on that V prong. Wiggle it around a little bit, then pull it out, then look in there, and you can see where the stone was touching inside there and you can determine whether or not you've cut enough metal away from that V. Let's go ahead and spray enough in there so you can really see it very clearly. One thing about this seat check, you can use it in manufacturing things. Anytime you're trying to put one piece next to another, and you have maybe a high spot or something, you'll find it very beneficial. It'll, it'll help in more things than just setting. 
Well, let's go ahead. Now we got it sprayed in correctly. We put the stone in. I'll go ahead and take it off of this wax here. And then what I usually do is I will move it around a little bit, just a little bit, take the stone back out. And I think this will be more clear. You see those little spots there, those little high areas? That gives me an idea of exactly where that stone is sitting in this particular setting here. But more importantly, let's look at the V. You notice there's not much pressure on that very point right there. I don't see any contact. That means when I took the round burr and burred it out, that very point, I did do enough cutting down in there, and that's a good thing. That's what we want. Now, if I'm happy with that, then we take it to the next step. Let's go there. Now we've got this to this point right here. And what I wanted to show you is, is that the stone itself lays in there securely. But there were some adjustments that I had to make in order for it to be that way. I probably should take this off of here. In order for the stone to be in like that, there were some things that I had to do. I want to show you another burr that you're going to really like using. Now this burr right here is a plated burr. They come in a set. These are very inexpensive. And go ahead and buy the whole set. They have different shapes and they last a long time. Again, as long as you use the burr life. But what's great about this is it's different from other burrs. And what I mean by that is when you use an all set tool such as this right here, the burr shape that you want to use is a burr that's closest to the shape of the stone that you're setting. However, there's not every burr that can follow that protocol for every stone. So what we're going to do is, and it's very common, but once you have that initial groove cut in with the all set right here, it's very easy to modify the material from the, the groove down. That's why I like using these burrs because they don't grab and they're easy to cut. Let's go ahead and show you some of the cutting. We're going to take that metal away right down here to the shape of the stone. Watch how easy that is. Let me go ahead and put some burr life on it. Okay, now, now you'll see how smooth that cut is. Notice there's no grabbing. It's also the rounded shape of the stone, so it's, it's a natural, but it's very simple. You can go in and cut that metal out. And it's very smooth, it leaves very little flashing, and these things will last a very long time. I think you'll find them very beneficial. Now notice down in, let's look deep down into that V. You notice how it is really um, machined out. There, and I've already tested it with the seat check to make sure that it's setting in at the right areas. Also, I'd like for you to notice this right here, this V. You notice I've already pre-cut it with a graver. Okay, I wanted to talk about that just very briefly and show you what I mean. Now, if you'll take a graver like you see here, remember that the graver is going to be reflecting whatever kind of grinding you've done on it. A high polished graver gives you a high polished cut. So in this case, what I would like to do, if that was a stone in there, let's go ahead since and pre-cut this by pre-cutting it and then setting it from the back, we don't have to as much work and we don't dull our gravers because we're pushing it next to the stones. But what we would do is we'd simply take our graver in there, however you'd like to do it, do it by hand or, or other, and simply shave away the metal needed. And that's the way I prefer doing it, something like that right there. And then of course you want to take the flashing away. You could use a flat graver or one of these and take that metal away right here. Just like that. Now, this right here, I would take your time because that's, that makes a piece either beautiful or, or not. At this point, let's go ahead and put our stone back in there. If I can find center on it. There we go. Now, how would we tighten that down? What I'm going to do is I would push it from here. I'm going to push it there, and I'm going to push it there. And then I'll do all my cleanup. And I think you'll find that using the all set, along with some other neat tools, such as a seat check, of course the, uh, the uh, burr life and other things, you'll get great use out of your all set. I wanted to show you another neat little trick. I think you'll enjoy this. Just take an old file, smooth it down real well. Uh, these seem to get in uh, small areas and they, they work real great for a lot of detail work. What I really like using is this adhesive backed 
are the PSA backed 3M micro finishing film. Comes in a variety of different grits or grades, but one thing that's neat about it now you can take you put it on your uh, your file there, take your uh, Exacto blade or in this case the scalpel, and just go ahead and trim it off just like you see there. By doing so, now you can get in those real fine areas and do some real nice trimming. So in this case, I can go in there and go ahead and very carefully, smoothly sand and using whatever grade of paper I would like or micro finishing film. And you'll find that this would be very beneficial and you'll use it for many years. And here's the final product right here. This is what it'll look like when we're all done. So, of course, we want to make sure that we remove some of that uh, weight that was up here like we did. Make sure it's not too heavy here. But that's, uh, that's how you do it with the all set. It makes it very simple. Thank you very much for previewing the all set stone setting system. I know you're going to enjoy it. Like any tool, it takes a little bit of time getting used to it. Once you do, you got it made. Thank you very much for previewing the all set stone setting system. I know you're going to enjoy it. Like any tool, it takes a little bit of time getting used to it. Once you do, you've got it made.